Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about one of the ultimate things you need to know for nursing school and as a future nurse, and that is ADPI, the nursing process. It is so important that you understand this and it will make your whole life so much easier once you do. A lot of nursing test questions are based on the nursing process, so let's just break it down. The acronym ADPI stands for Assessment, Diagnosis, Planning, Implementation, and Evaluation. And the funny thing about ADPI is that we actually use it in everyday situations without even realizing it. For example, let's say I'm running late to class because I'm brewing a nice hot cup of coffee. I throw it into a thermos and then throw it into my bag and book it to school. Once I get to school, I open my bag and grab my computer and take it out, but it won't turn on. What do I do next? Well, first I'm going to assess the situation. Why isn't my computer turning on? And wait, why is it all wet and everything smells like coffee? Next, I diagnose. Well, it seems to me from all the evidence here that my coffee must have leaked onto my computer and that's why it won't turn on. Next, I need to make a quick plan. What am I going to do to fix the problem? Well, I think I probably need to run to the computer store to get a professional to help me. Then we have the implementation phase, and this is the action part of the plan. This is where I actually bolt to the computer store fast to get it fixed. Evaluation is the final step. Did I meet my desired goal? This is where they tell me, Marley, it was almost a lost cause, but we fixed your computer and everything works great. Don't ever do this again. Okay, so let's turn it back to nursing and apply the exact same steps. When you first go in to see your patient, the first thing you're going to do is assess. This is where you take in all the data, subjective and objective. You're going to look and see what your first impression is. How's your patient looking? How are their vitals? Are they groaning in pain? Do they look pale? Are they breathing heavily? And remember, and this is really key, that assessments are always done first. You're never going to implement an intervention without doing an assessment first. And that's something to burn into your brain for the test questions when they ask about priorities. Because you wouldn't run to the computer store the first moment your computer didn't turn on without doing some detective work, right? The same thing goes for not giving your patient medication before assessing what's really going on. So moving on, the next step is diagnosis. And that's based on our clinical assessment, where we identify actual or potential health risks. And the nursing diagnosis is developed by NANDA and should be based on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. But that's a whole different topic, and we'll do a whole separate video on that. After that, we make a plan based on the assessment and diagnosis. And this is where you would set a SMART goal. And the acronym SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Timely Short and Long-Term Goals for the Patient. Then we implement the plan. This is the action portion of the process. This is where we actually intervene to help the patient, like giving them drugs or educating them or monitoring them and so on. And finally, we evaluate. Were we successful in meeting the desired outcome? Did the plan work or is it in the process of working? If not, we need to reassess and start the whole process over, noting why the old goals weren't met and making changes to the new plan of care to make sure that the new goals will be completed. Remember, you have to get ADPI, the nursing process, drilled into your head as a fundamental concept in order to build your critical thinking skills and not only pass your exams, but become a great nurse. So make sure you understand it. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to give us a shout at feedback at And until next time, good luck studying.